Hey, it's Magenta and I'm here at Maker Fair 2018. Super excited to talk to some of the makers about what they brought to exhibit. Uh, it's, uh, it started off as like a paper model that blew up and then so it's uh, like the decoration is all paper over foam. Cool. <laughs> How's it going? Hey. Ready to answer a few questions? Hey, we're here with Luke from Tiny FPGA, and he's one of our Tindy sellers. How's it going, Luke? Hey, it's going really good. So I sell my Tiny FPGA A series boards, which are tiny little FPGA breakup boards for projects. Um, I am out of stock on my other boards, but they'll be coming back very soon. Uh, and. Um, it's been a great experience so far in Tindy. Yeah, so what brought you to Tindy? So I had looked at a few different options, like starting my own store or going to something like Kickstarter. I was really scared of doing like a Kickstarter type project at first. And if I had made my own store, I knew nobody would go to it because nobody would know it exists. Uh, so then I saw Tindy and I thought, well, Here's a place that people already go, so you know this would be a good place for me to try out and get started. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Well, I hope you have a great time this weekend, and I'm sure we'll see you around. Yep, sounds nice great. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> All right, we're here with Clarissa from Kickstarter to talk about their awesome booth here at the Maker Fair. Yeah, well, we're uh, so we're at the Kickstarter booth, and we have several creators here that we're sort of showcasing. And the theme of our booth is creative materials. So these are interesting materials used in creative ways. And Poppy and Machines has been using paper in interesting ways. This is all paper that's been screen printed with electronic ink. Um, yeah, so it conducts electricity. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Um, this is Foldscope, another creator that ran a Kickstarter campaign, and um, what they've made is an origami microscope. And the idea is to make microscopy something that's super accessible. Like, you know how you stick a pencil in your back pocket and like go out into the field and sketch? You just well, stick one of these in your backpack. Exactly, there, exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. So um, they have a whole booth What's that they've the, set up. Uh, and, um, and actually, we partnered with them to be able to give these away at Maker yeah. Fair. So yeah, we're just like handing them out. Yeah, 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 it's really beautiful. And the, the creators have like a huge crowd right now. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I also really love our collection. It's like a little exhibit you got here. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so this is actually mycelium. Uh, so it's, it's sort of the root structure of mushrooms. This is basically a lamp that you grow yourself out of mushrooms. It comes with these like wood chips, which is what the mycelium eats. <laughs> and then you throw some water in there and you pack it into a mold. And then you, over the course of a couple days, grow your own lampshade. I'm getting it now, all the materiality, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. And this is all seems like extra environmentally conscious sort of projects, right? Or sustainably. Um, conscious yeah. projects. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is probably one of my favorite projects right now. It looks super exciting. It's so cool. So, um, so Ron is a designer from Berkeley. Mm -hmm. They've been experimenting for years and years with 3D printing and different materials. So they've 3D printed like houses out of uh, salt. Yeah. or coffee cups out of coffee grounds, yeah. or uh, they've even made like wine glasses or wine goblets out of uh, grape skins from Sonoma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, what they really love is ceramics and working with clay. And what they want to do is build a workshop where anyone can come and use the clay printers and make ceramics. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, these machines are super cool. Hi, we're here with Caleb from Make. And as an employee of Make, you've been here, you said, Six years? Uh, a little over four okay. years, I think, maybe five. Awesome. And what has been the most surprising change? It's kind of hard to be surprised from the inside because I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you know, I'm immersed in it constantly right. all year round. So it's hard to see the slow change. But really, some of the things that have caught my my attention have been some of the some of the startups that have popped up and taken off. Like, for example, right here behind us, we have. Sculpting and virtual reality. Right. <laughs> so it's like a twist. Like, yeah, I kind of saw virtual reality coming. Coming, right. But I never would have assumed that we would have had makers yeah, well, I mean, in virtual reality creating things to be 3D printed. Right. Like, even, you know, two years ago. Yeah, uh, so, totally. Yeah, there, there have been some surprises. All right, we're in the dark room and we're talking to Ben from Electromage and he sells on Tindy. So he's going to tell us a little bit about his experience with Tindy. How long have you been selling on Tindy? 
Uh, for about a year, I think. Okay, and what sort of brought you to Tindy, or how did you find out about it? Um, actually, through um, uh, Alicia, who runs Embedded FM. Okay, um, awesome. She actually pushed me over the edge. She was like, you know, you need to like write some 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 guides, some like instructions that is going to make it super easy, and put it on Tindy and just get it out there. Yeah, and how was the process like getting acclimated to Tindy and starting to use it? It's super easy. Super awesome. easy. <laughs> That's good to hear. And so, what do you sell on Tindy? Um, I sell a product called Pixel Blaze. It's a Wi-Fi LED controller. Uh, the idea is it serves up a web page. You go to this web page, you can live code a language that's kind of like JavaScript, and it compiles it on the fly, sends it down to the chip so that you can you know, install one of these LED controllers in like an art piece like we have over there. Right. And then you can live code the pattern that you want for that specific thing without having to like hook up a cable and all that kind of stuff. So you get like a much more intuitive feel for like what your pattern is going to look like. Right. And do you, have you seen like other people using your product at Maker Faire? Yeah, actually, um, I've got um, a friend that I met through um, through Tindy uh, who's just become an Advy fan and is using them in art pieces. I've got, um, you know, hundreds of different people that have bought my chip that like email me in and like tell me all the crazy stuff that they're doing. Oh, that's so yeah. fun. You get to see like pictures and track how people are using it. Yeah. Great. That's good to hear. Well, thank you so much for talking with us and I hope you have a good time with the rest of the weekend at Maker Faire. All right. Nice to meet you. Cool. All right, we're here at the Tormach booth with Chris. Well, we know all about yeah, Tormach yeah. at Design Lab. As Chris knows, he said he was just talking with Dan um, about some software stuff. I'm actually super stoked. I'm going to be going to the headquarters for CNC training um, Monday, actually, right after oh, this. Oh, right on, cool. So, yeah. yeah, I'll be in Wisconsin for that next week. Any tips for when I'm there, what I need to make sure I pay attention to or anything? <laughs> well, um, <laughs> definitely have some cheese and beer okay. while you're in Wisconsin. It's, it's vital. Um, to uh, right, yeah, yeah, absolutely. We have we you have don't a brewery. The machine without the context. Yeah, right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's key. Um, no, I mean, I think the biggest thing is uh, it's a lot of information all at once, mm -hmm. and and that's the big thing about um, about CNC machines in general is it can be overwhelming if you try to bring it all in at the same time. Right. If you have a project in mind, keep <laughs> applying that to the whole. Uh, if you have a project in mind, you keep applying that concept to what you're trying to do, even though we're going to walk you through a project. Right. Then go home and start that project. Have something mm -hmm. to, that you want to get to at yeah, the end. Yeah, to keep the knowledge. Yeah, and practice yeah. And the easiest way is hands on. Right. I mean, that, that's the yeah, key. that's what I'm really excited about some yeah. quality time in front of your machine. <laughs> so thank you so much for talking with us. Yeah. Hope you have a good rest of your time yeah, here. Oh, yeah, it's And fun. I'm excited to see the headquarters. Yeah, rock and roll. All right, have a good one. Yeah, you too. Hey, Jasmine. Hello, Magenta. How's it going? It's going very well. <laughs> we've just started, we've just finished setting up at Maker Faire. And, uh, yes, Jasmine is our Tindy extraordinaire at Supply Frame. So how many times have you been to Maker Fair? I think this is my fifth year. Awesome. I came for the first three times for Hackaday, okay. um, we, where we promoted the Hackaday Prize. It's just such a great event where people come from all over the world to show everybody else what they're making, and you can just see some really small things and really large things and really yeah. bright things. An amazing range of projects here. Yes. And we're really excited because this year there's a lot of Tindy sellers exhibiting on their own. We're super excited to check out all the different exhibitors and all the people representing Hackaday, Tindy, and Supply Frame. So we're here with Steven from Hackaday and we're going to learn all about what they're doing here at the fair. So what's up? How's it going so far? <laughs> so far it's been awesome. There's so much cool stuff going on. <laughs> like this, like this. Yeah. And I'm, uh, I'm here to talk about the prize. I have a talk tomorrow morning, which is really exciting because I get to spread the prize. And there's a couple winners of the first round of the Hackaday Prize, the Hardware Design Challenge. And a few of them are going to be here. Oh, so awesome. I'm going to be bringing them on stage. A lot of people don't know this. I'm going to be bringing them on stage and actually talking to them about their projects. So that's really cool. We have uh, an open source smartphone, entirely open hardware smartphone that you can fit in your pocket, which is really cool. We have an underwater sensor that looks and is shaped like clams, which is cool. We have the metabolizer, which takes trash and turns it into energy and plastics that you can use in a 3D printer. Tons of awesome projects. And people get to see an in-depth look because the people who made it will actually be on yeah, stage. Because That's the people so exciting. Will be on stage and they get to see it within the context of the prize. Which nice. I think is awesome and really important because as huge as Hackaday is and as much as so many people know it, I've already met a ton of makers who didn't really know exactly what the Hackaday prize was. And once I started talking to them about it, they're like, 
I need to drop what I'm doing and enter now. They're like, my my project fits that. My project could like could win That's something so with exciting. this. This is so Perfect exciting. Timing for Maker Fair and Hackaday Prize. I know exactly. <laughs> so that was a great start to Maker Fair 2018. We got to see a lot of amazing stuff today, and we're excited to see more for the rest of the weekend.